All right, it's March 30th. We, me and Bill here, we're getting ready to go uh, put some food plots in. It's, uh, it's pretty early. Uh, everybody seems to be getting their food plots in pretty early this year just due to the weather. Uh, ground's nice. We've got some rain getting ready to come in, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. We, uh, we've got the tractor all loaded up, and uh, we're ready to we can't. We couldn't ask for better weather. Forecast is good. Laramie checked it earlier. We're going to get these plots in just in the nick of time, and rain's supposed to hit Monday or Tuesday, so... It'll well, be good. Put in, today. put in Osage Trophy blend and some gobble whistle mix. And if we got time, we'll try and get that chick flick down. Yeah. But it's That's gonna be hard pressed to get that many food plots done in one yeah, day. Yeah, if but we get them all done, that'll be a good day. We're gonna go. We're gonna give one heck of a run. Um, this lease we've been hunting. I've been hunting it now for a good 20 years. So some of my kids have actually grown up on this place. Um, today, what we put in was our Osage Trophy blend. Um, we've been putting this in for a couple years now. Um, we really watched this place from the time I started started hunting there to now um, evolve, um, and, and it's mainly due to our food plots. Again, um, we did get the four by rule up here in Cedar County, but uh, really the main thing and the, the way we get them in there is our food plots. Um, we got a lot of competition with all our neighbors up there, and, and the one way we weed them out is making sure we have our food plots in and ready to go. So we're out here, we're planting some food plots. We've got the Osage Trophy blend. Uh, it's, got, it's got Landino clover, crimson clover, um, it's also got alfalfa, which those three are perennials. So we got, we're planting them, they're gonna come back year after year. Um, so we're kinda building a future for our deer hunting in this, in this area. Um, also, we got the, bra, the rapeseed, the, the dwarf Essex rapeseed, um, and then the turnips, which those two are annuals. Um, so we have little packets that we just throw in the near, year after year to add to it. Um, so kind of, we're getting our food plots in. Uh, it's a nice warm day, not used to the 70 degrees yet. So, but glad to be out here, um, enjoying some sun, um, and getting our food plots in. So we'll see what happens this fall. You know, it's good to get out early. We've got turkey season coming up on us. Uh, we've got the youth gonna be out here in the next couple weeks. I uh, cannot wait for this year to kick off, but what we're doing is we're reworking an old plot we have and growing it by just a little bit, about another 70, 80 feet. I'm gonna take up this whole corner here, but we've had Osage Trophy blend here in the past, had great results with it. We've got a tree stand on the other side of the creek here. Uh, we're gonna take advantage of it. We've got another big food plot over there, but what we try to do off this hay field, off this bottom, is pull the deer out of the woods coming from our properties across the road, our neighbors, and then get it off over here where they're in our food plots eating these, cross the creek, and then get over there in front of our tree stand. Uh, we put a little bit of Osage Trophy Blend gobble whistle mix uh, down on, on the big food plot. And what I did with it was we ran it as a buffer area in the first four to five feet right out there by the edge of the hay field. It's gonna give the deer that safety feeling. Plus with the turkey and the quail that come in, it's got the brown top millet, alfalfa, chupa, badino clovers in there. It'll help bring them in there, help hold them in there. And that gives me also a line that's 40 yards from my tree stand. So it gave me a 40 yard marker. And then everything up inside it was the Osage Trophy blend. And we planted that in all three food plots today. Well, the biggest reason we chose these food plots are location, location, location. They're in the bottoms of the fields. We've got hillsides to come down in there. We're working right off of creeks. I mean, we've got three food plots and back up to a creek. Uh, we, well, our goal is to bring the deer right off the hillsides <clears throat> as they'll skirt the tree lines and come into the food plots. And we put these food plots either in the corner of the land itself or in a bowl, or as we call the horseshoe, in a horseshoe of a whole, you know, we got the creek on one side, on the south side, on the north side, we've got a little tree line, but it makes a little horseshoe there. Um, Heath and I have been hunting this property for a few years together, and we feel like it's the best way for us to manage that and bring the deer to us in the center. We don't have a tree stand hanging over each and every one of these. Uh, I mean, we've gone back and forth on whether or not to hang some on these, but we've got tree stands hanging over most of these food plots, and we've been able to see tons of deer and tons of turkey and put down some animal on these. We're looking forward to what 2014 has for us with the Osage Trophy blend and the Gobble Whistle mix. Spring food plots, 2014, done. Stopped and leased.
Get on, Donkey Kong.